The news of the state takeover has left many people who currently work at HISD wondering if they'll still have a job in a few months. Fox 26's Natalie He joins us live from downtown Houston, having spoken to the board trustee president. Good evening, Natalie. Good evening, Sherman. We do know that the official takeover from TEA means that they will be taking over and replacing the jobs of superintendent and the elected board of trustees. Instead, they'll be replacing them with a board of managers. Those are all appointed positions. But the current board trustee president elect, Danny Hernandez, says she actually plans on running for that new position. She had applied the first time around, which actually makes her eligible. Danny says she believes in local representation. She grew up here in Houston, went to schools in HISD, and even worked in the district for six years before serving on the board. We didn't know when the Supreme Court decision was going to come down. Um, it just happened to come down the day after I, um, I was elected board president. Having a locally elected board is um, important for HISD and the community. So uh, whether there's an elected board or an appointed board, I want to stay involved to make sure that the community's voice is heard um, throughout the X amount of time that TEA will take over. Now, this announcement came during spring break. Danny says the Board of Trustees will have their first meeting next week when everyone is back on school. She says they do plan on meeting with legal counsel to discuss if there's any potential action they could take on the TEA takeover. From downtown Houston, Natalie He, Fox 26 News. Natalie, thanks. Beginning next week, TEA will host a series of community meetings to discuss the process of the new managing board as well as answer questions and concerns. And that begins with the first of four meetings happening Tuesday, March 21st at Westbury High. The second on Wednesday, March 22nd at Chavez High. Then on Wednesday, March 29th at the Hattie Mae White Educational Support Center. And the last meeting, Thursday, March 30th at Kashmir High. Use your smartphone's camera right now to scan this QR code on your screen. That'll take you to our free Fox 26 Houston News app. That's where you can see our extensive coverage on this, including the dates, times, locations for these meetings. You can also head over to our website, fox26houston.com.